This is a Yamaha FG42012. It's a 12 string guitar. I believe this was in production from 1989 until 1995, I think. This I purchased in 1990. This was purchased and it has a few issues. One is the body has discolored, as you can see. It has discolored, but that is not my main problem. It sounds well, but the action is very high. It's actually at the 12th fret, 3.1 millimeters. You know, this level is okay. I checked with the straight rule. The relief and everything seems okay. So there's no point in adjusting the truss rod. And even the saddle is not really very high. So there's no point in adjusting the saddle or the nut. And uh, the action at the first fret is just about 0.5 millimeters. So I don't want to touch the nut either. So the only thing I can think of is there's a bulge here. I don't know whether it is noticeable. I'll just show it to you with a straight rule, a steel ruler behind the bridge. So that is what I would like to work on because there's no point in giving this to a professional uh, luthier because the cost of repair, repairs will definitely be more than the value of this guitar. Just sentimental value, I'd like to keep this guitar because everything else seems okay. There's no other issue except for this, which is of course a major one. So there's a bulge even by hand when I feel it here, it, uh, I definitely can make of the bulge. Now I'll put a steel ruler on the bridge and uh, the assumption made here is that this is straight. This is level rather. You can see the angle, the front of the steel ruler and the back of the steel ruler. You can see the gap. It is definitely not level with the top of the guitar. So there is a bulge here. I can even feel it. So the idea is we can uh, purchase, uh, I can purchase a bridge doctor, but that's uh, 45 US dollars. But it is a very simple device, but uh, I believe it's an effective device. So I'm actually thinking of making my own bridge doctor and then inserting it. Of course, I have a Fishman pickup here long back I had purchased. I'm going to remove that and see if I can you know, level the shift this a little bit. But before that, I'm going to remove, I had converted this to a six string guitar because I was not using 12 strings. But despite converting it to six string, it's been over what, 30 years. So because of which this has happened, it has traveled with me all over to many uh, countries actually. Then thought of uh, keeping some weight on this and then leaving it for about one or two weeks until which time I can prepare the uh, bridge doctor at home, I'll uh, make my own. It's a simple thing. The guitar is now on a makeshift workbench. I just kept something under the neck to support. Otherwise, this is sitting flat on the work table. This is just a sound hole blocking cover. And inside the sound hole, I have a wet rag, which is sitting on a plastic sheet so that the water doesn't drip into the wood. Uh, that cloth was completely soaked in water and finally wrung to get the last drop out of it and then now it is sitting inside just beneath the bridge and now I have here altogether 12 and a half pounds of weight the belly bulge is just behind the bridge this is now 13 hours into this operation I'll make it up to 20 pounds I have a low temperature heating pad I'm going to place that first and on top of the, the weight and then see how it goes Now this is after 48 hours of humidifying with uh, 20 pounds of weight distributed here behind the bridge and before that I had kept uh, an electric uh, small blanket here with control temperature so on top of that I had put the weight and the result is this. I cannot discern 
any uh, difference in level even if there is i think it is negligible compared to what it was in the past it was almost like that so now it is straight and here i hope you can see that the gap here and there and on the other side on top now while it was getting humidified i cleaned the fretboard and oiled it i'd like to repair on the bridge plate which is underneath that is damaged over all these years you know putting the strings and pulling it where the string ball mates with the wood it has uh, damaged the bridge plate underneath this is the stock brass sheet i intend using for the bridge plate the idea was to use a 0.035 inch about uh, 0.8 millimeters but i could not get that that was not in stock although i have ordered it but i just wanted to give it a try which is this is half of that it is only 0.016 now from the stock brass sheet i cut off what is required first i made a template on the paper with all the actual measurements and i have also punched i have marked everything so this is after the punching by using this tool it came out pretty good this was the first hole that became a little oblong but otherwise it's pretty good just need to flatten it a bit then uh, sand it to remove the sharp uh, burrs Now here is the finished product bridge plate support so now I'll had I'll put a double sided uh, sticky tape The repair work is now completed I've installed the bridge plate mate under the bridge plate underneath and uh, six strings installed although it's a 12 string but as mentioned earlier I just want to use it as a six string guitar. The fretboard is cleaned and oiled and I'm just using uh, the three keys here and the three keys here. Under the circumstance this is the best I could achieve. I don't know whether you can notice there is still an angle but there is definitely an improvement and the bulge has gone. And on the 12th fret this is the action I get. It's just a little over 2.5 millimeters on the 12th fret. This is the 12th fret. Uh, probably around 2.6 because the next measurement here is 2.75. It is below 2.75 and just a hair, maybe a little more than a hair, about, about 2.5 millimeters. When I started this work, the action on the 12th fret was more than 4 millimeters. Now, Using an endoscope camera, I'm inspecting to see if my homemade bridge plate mate is still holding good. And it is.